Hi gang, it here, and I just wanted to remind you of a little technique uh, that we use in mass uh, in uh, Market Samurai, and you can use it outside of Market Samurai as well. But it's a little forgotten technique uh, which was invented by Rob Somerville and Dan Rain, and it's still effective today as it was back in 2006 when they first discovered it. And we call it the sanity check. So I'm just doing a few searches for Leica keywords here, and I've got a couple of likely candidates. And I can see here the Leica 50 mil, which is a type of lens, as it happens. Um, it's Google's telling me that it expects the SEOT of around 374 for uh, per day, traffic per day. Okay, cool, interesting. But I want to check that. I want to do a sanity check on that. Particularly the higher the number, the more you should think about doing a sanity check. So what's a sanity check? Well, if you follow my cursor across, you'll see that I am highlighting a little chart here. I am going to click on that chart and it's going to bring up the Google Trends chart. Now you can see under phrase, uh, currently it's got it up here as uh, the actual uh, actual exact match. Now we don't want to particularly use exact match. We want to use broad match and we want to compare it against this phrase. And you'll never forget this phrase ever again, male yeast infection. Now let's hit search trends and see what happens. You'll see the red phrase is male yeast infection. Now, we use the phrase male yeast infection because we know that this red line represents approximately 500 visitors a day. And it's very consistent except for this massive outbreak uh, in January. Um, don't know what happened there, but anyway, there you go. But far more importantly, see our like a 50 mil phrase here? Look at that. It's about half, which is around 250 or thereabouts. So there's definitely traffic that's still there. Sometimes you will see um, no line there at all. And that's a real yellow flag. You've got to really worry about that because it's an indicator that there's not the volume of traffic. So you can see here that this that male yeast infection is about two and a half times like a so it would be around, you know, in the high hundreds, still a phrase worth having a look at. But I wanted to remind you of that sanity check that it's so worth doing when you're looking at these phrases. Another thing while I'm here that's worth doing is once you've decided on a page, many people forget in the SEOC competition field to actually have a look at the actual Google search. People forget this and it's a real shame because there are things that the listings will tell you that could save you an enormous amount of time. Now, the first thing, of course, we'd like to see is we see, look, there's people advertising for the Leica M9. You can see that there, which is pretty cool. And what I'm sort of interested here, this is a product and we've seen in shopping categories, and I'll show you this in a minute that Google is starting to really rely heavily on brands in some markets. You can see here that that's not the case in this Leica area. For example, if you can see there's a uh, pro blogger, um, Darren Rouse with his digital photography school site, um, has a first impression review. That's fairly recent. That may be highlighted too because I follow uh, Darren Rouse in Google+, Plus, so that might be a thing. And I follow uh, Brett as well. And you can see there's his uh, Flickr stream. And there's a couple of YouTube videos. Uh, there's uh, you know a hands-on. And there's a Wired article. So I look at that and I go, look, that is something that I could potentially still get into. There's plenty of variety of the type of sites, not just brand sites, individual blogs, all sorts of things, many opportunities. Now, let's go into the medical area. And I've been telling people in... Uh, Challenge Plus and Immediate Edge, that the medical field is really a field that unless you happen to be in that field and you have a uh, reputation, you are a doctor, you are uh, a company that deals with that, I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole personally. And let me show you why. Now, of course, AdWords still work. You know, there's still lots of uh, AdWords here. But let's have a look at these URLs. Skin cancer treatment is the phrase cancer.gov, government site, government site, medicinenet.com, very big site, Mayo Clinic, very huge site, 
WebMD, very huge site. eMedicineHealth.com, another big site. Bupper.co.uk, huge site. HealthInsight.gov.au, MyDoctor.com.au, CancerCenter.com. Now, I'm just going to check here, but I've got a feeling that uh, this is also a major sort of treatment site. Yeah, which it is. So you can see there, you know, there is no information products. There are no blogs. There are no nothing. And that's because Google got hit with a $500 million FTC judgment. Um, and they're very sensitive about the medical market. So if you don't see any blogs in here, if you don't see any information products, if you don't see anything in there, then unless you are a qualified medical uh, professional in the field, I don't know why you're there. Another place where this is manifesting itself at the moment is in, say, products, like this one here. I've typed in outdoor furniture. Now, I'm looking at Australian results, obviously. I'm looking from Australia, but this is even more prevalent in the US. Now, again, good, lovely, good corporate stuff. Um, lots of ads there, so lots of people searching for it. But do you see this? Brands, Frontgate, Brown, Jordan, Chair, King, Thomasville, Smith & Hawken, and the stores, Walmart, Overstock, Pottery Barn, Costco, Target. Now, in the good old days, outdoor furniture used to be dominated, dominated by the classic e-stores, uh, which you know, Joe and Jane Smiths could set up, use drop shipping, import their own stuff, and do that. But have a look at this now. You know, all the brand name now. Outdoor Furniture Plus, I think, is probably still one of the old schools, which is great to see. And they are. That's your classic, you know, outdoor site. <laughs> they have a few. <laughs> Many thousands of backlinks, God bless them. But more and more, you're starting to see, look, Walmart, Breeze Direct, uh, Patio Furniture of Overstock.com, then the Front Gate, Pottery Barn, Garden Furniture World, uh, which is the UK's, and then, of course, Toffs, which is a huge uh, outdoor furniture retailer here in Australia. Oh, which reminds me, let me show you another cool feature. See this little arrow over here? Boy, is this a time saver. You hover your mouse over it and it pops up the actual article. Look at that. Costco. Can you see here an outdoor garden furniture? Now, that's a typical older older school site. And there, actually, look at that. Outdoor bar set. That's the first time I've seen a, a site. Maybe I've been looking at that for a client or something. But do you see that they're mainly brands? So I want you to be careful when you're doing this sort of research you know, to make sure you're having a look at what's going on on the actual Google page. The numbers are very important. You need to pass these tests here in Market Samurai, but you also need to pass the eyeball test here as well. It'll save you a lot of time and stress. Hope you enjoyed that and we'll speak soon.